Martha Stewart and rapper Snoop Dogg have been BFFs for years in what you might think was an unlikely friendship. And now the two have grown even closer. They've become, in fact, bud buddies, the lifestyle guru entering a partnership with Canopy Growth to help the company develop a new line of CBD-based animal health products, all thanks to connections from her longtime pal, Snoop D-O-double-G. Check out wow, shares of Canopy new. Growth. Now up 75% this year as a whole group of pot stocks have caught fire. Our next guest says these are all signs that the CBD boom could become an 18, uh, excuse me, $16 billion industry. Vivian Azer is Cowan's senior research analyst who covers beverages, tobacco, and cannabis. Vivian, great to have you with us. How do you come up with $16 billion when there's so much regulatory uncertainty surrounding the CBD space in particular? I mean, the FDA had Scott Gottlieb just this week said it could take a couple of years for the regulations to pan out. He had mentioned things like higher concentrations of CBD should go to pharma, where lower, lower concentrations should go to food and supplements. So the current regulatory landscape and FDA enforcement has really only been focused on companies that make really aggressive claims that are really, you know, more appropriate for a true pharmaceutical product. And so those are the products that are getting pulled off the market. But for the operators that are uh, treading more cautiously, this makes you calm, this helps with sleep, and they call it hemp, not CBD. Those have been commercially viable. And the current market in 2018 is estimated to have done between 600 million and 2 billion. And we think it was probably at the higher end of that range because when we did the sizing analysis, we took two approaches. We did a top-down uh, analysis of and a bottoms up. On the top down, we were surprised to see that 7% of consumers in the U.S. today already consume CBD. It's a lot. Already. Already. CBD. Admit wow. to it. In our <laughs> proprietary survey, yeah, we survey 2,500 consumers every month. So in terms of... Uh, where the opportunity is for Martha Stewart in a canopy or, or any other Tilray along with authentic brands. I mean, there are a number of companies who have sort of partnership with brand creating companies. Uh, wh how do they go about tackling this big percentage of Americans who already are consuming in some way? So um, you can go asset heavy or asset light. And so Canopy True to Form is going to go a little asset heavy. They've already announced they're going to invest 100 to $150 million in CBD extraction and production in New York. They've said they'd spend as much as $500 million in the U.S. Tilray, of course, going asset light. They're just going to do the extraction with a partnership with authentic brands. Vivian, um, congrats to you and to Callan for being way out in front of this trade. And, and so when you see this, it almost seems to me that CBD has jumped ahead of, a hemp has jumped ahead of cannabis on some level to give all the big players who are deep into cannabis this opportunity to build out infrastructure right now in a legal framework so that they're ready with brands, they're ready with distribution. What's the most exciting part of this? Yeah, so I think it continues to lend legitimacy to the cannabis plant as a family, continues to destigmatize it for consumers, and really offers a new solution for consumers that they haven't really seen in the marketplace before. It's amazing. So does this help with, um, I mean, Tim had mentioned sort of the infrastructure, et cetera, but in terms of the banking, money is sort of fungible. So does this help with the banking aspect, you know, before the passage of the SAFE or the States Act? on the THC side of the business? No, I don't okay. think so. Uh, we really need Congress to act. Um, and we do think that there's a pretty good chance that the SAFE Act passes in 2019. It's a $10 billion cash industry, um, which really um, creates problems around money laundering and criminal activity. All right. Uh, top pick quickly, Vivian. In this Canopy space. growth. Canopy. All right. Great to see you as always, Vivian Azer of Thanks, Cowan. Um, do you want to? I think you stick. I mean, listen, you know, the, the, the regulation here in the U.S., that's the really hardest part about this thing. And so, like, the cannabis seems like a really interesting situation here. Um, but, like, these stocks have run. And I know that you, you, congratulations to you, Tim. You were on this story early, but I think you're much more cautious about them right now, especially after this very short dated run. It's, look, it's hard to get excited after a 75% run. Valuations don't make a lot of sense. But when you look at a canopy or you look at an acreage or a cure leaf, um, guys that are multi state operators harvest, these are, these are guys that are positioned and they're positioned so that they they can take advantage of hemp that is legal, even when the FDA finally gets around to be, you know, telling us what products and how they can function. Um, you have to find a way to get around the valuations. I think the guys that own assets and own a global footprint, they're developing brands, uh -huh. and they're developing those now that I, I think will be part of this valuation story. 
what what is the biggest obstacle right now for institutions to to get into some of these multi-state operators? I mean, I've heard the argument that multi-state operators in the U.S. are the bigger opportunity than the guys in, in Canada at this point in terms of valuations. I think that's right. And in fact, while you know, Vivian talked about how quickly this, the, the hemp CBD market is growing and the potential size of this, what we're also seeing is this is allowing institutional players, especially in the private equity market, are going big into these deals. And, and I think, you know, we've always talked about this with new asset classes. What are the institutions coming? They're coming. And, and they can own the MSOs right now in most cases, especially ones that are listed on NASDAQ and New York Stock Exchange. And they should because this is a diversified play.